ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير اللهم اقسم لنا من خشيتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معصيتك ومن طاعتك ما تبلغنا به جنتك ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مصائب الدنيا ومتعنا اللهم بأسماعنا وأبصارنا وقواتنا ما أحييتنا اللهم واجعله الوارث منا واجعل ثأرنا على من ظلمنا وانصرنا اللهم على من عادانا اللهم ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل الدنيا أكبر همنا ولا مبلغ علمنا اللهم ولا تسلط علينا بذنوبنا من لا يخافك ولا يرحمنا يا رب العالمين In the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the most compassionate, the most merciful all praise and thanks are due to him and peace and blessings be upon his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa He who is guided by the will of Allah, no one can misguide him. And he who is misguided, no one can guide him except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I do bear witness that there is no God but Allah and Muhammad is his messenger. Respected brothers and sisters in Iman, in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today's khutbah with the will of Allah will be under the title of the strangest and most dangerous test in our life. What is this test? The strangest and the most dangerous. And my focus will be on not how dangerous it is, because we know how dangerous it is. It's how strange it is. This is my focal point, at least for today. Before I tell you what is this test, let me just make a very simple introduction. Now, we as a human being, in our daily life, by default, by nature, when we say a test or exam, an exam to be an exam, a test to be a test, it should contain, by default, some pillars. So we need a subject, we need a material, something to be tested with. Number one. Two, when we set for a test, definitely we don't know for sure the answer, sorry, the questions. But we have an idea about, in general, what could be the questions revolving around. We have a textbook, okay, or something we know about. We have a material, let's say textbook, and we have an idea. And the question could be direct or indirect, but it could be, it should be around the thing that I'm prepared with. And sometimes we have surprises. <laughs> the question, may not be related for whatever reason. The question might not be clear. The question might not be applicable for whatever reason. So we do face this in our daily life. But the strangest test, basically, is the test of the Akhirah, or the first step of the Akhirah, which is the first step after I leave this dunya. I mean the test when I meet the angel of death for the first time. This is, by the way, the strangest. You know why it's strange? Because we know the questions, and we know the exact answers for all of our life, and we've been warned about the question and the answer and the material. It's very simple and very direct. So how come, how come someone is failed, or he is a failure in this? Test. It's very strange. That's why I call it very strange. I know the question, and I know the answer, and it's a direct question and direct answer. So there's no problem, except my mistake. <clears throat> so, let me give you, because as you might be aware, I always repeat, you know, this khutbah, it is designed in Islam by the divine will for certain purposes. One of them, to fix concepts. One of them to answer about raised new questions. One of them, a reminder, وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ وَعِظْهُمْ وَقُلْ لَهُمْ فِي أَنفُسِهِمْ قَوْلًا بَلِيغًا Preach them, O Muhammad, and tell them a بَلِيغ speech. The word بَلِيغ from the word بَلَغَ يَبْلُغْ which means it has reached its destination. Linguistically, in the lexicons. 
So when we say Kalam Balir, when Allah is commanding Muhammad to say Kalam Balir, which means preach them with a word that does reach to the heart and it reached its destination, which means it fulfills the aim why it was sent. So one of the aims of the Friday ceremony to make a Balir speech, <laughs> which means because we need we need a reminder. So under this umbrella, I'm okay, I'm not bringing something new. I'm just reminding myself. I'm the first of you who is in need because we have weakness points in our lives. We have circumstances. We forget, we ignore something for whatever it is. So I need to remind myself with this. Why it's strange? Prophet Muhammad said in a Sahih hadith, in a sound hadith, narrated in Bukhari and Muslim and other source of Sunnah, one of the highest level. This hadith, which is all of us, we know it, that when someone passes away, when he is approached by the angel of death, he will be asked with things that we know it since we are children. It's in a sound hadith in Bukhari and Muslim. So, فَيُسْأَلُ الْعَبْدُ مَنْ رَبُّكْ مَا دِينُكْ مَا تَقُولُ فِي هَذَا الرَّجُلِ الَّذِي بُعِثَ فِيكُمْ Literally. Each one of us will be asked, who is your Lord? Direct, simple question. No ambiguous questions. Nothing just, you know, twisting, blah, blah, blah. No, no, what do you mean? Oh, excuse me. No, 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 no. Man Rabbuk, who is your Lord? Clear, direct. What is your religion? What do you say about this man, Muhammad? He was sent to you. <laughs> Direct, direct questions. The believer, Rabbi Allah, my Lord is Allah. Clear, because he has built, she has built her life on it 24 7. It's not something new. I know the answer because I've lived the answer, <laughs> I've embedded with the answer. <laughs> It's not a strange, okay, what is it? Okay, no, 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 so what is it? It's, it's either it's me and part of me or I'm lost. Second question, Madino, Dini al-Islam, <laughs> clear. 24-7, I'm proud of this all the time. I'm exposing myself to everyone to tell like I'm a Muslim. I'm a, alhamdulillah, I don't hide my identity. I'm proud of it. I'm living upon it. So why should I? That's why it was not right. I don't know how authentic it is, Mu'awar al-Khattab. He said, Ya Rasulullah, the, 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 the angel of death will ask me about what is my religion and who's my Lord. He said, yes, why not I, me, I will ask him. Because I know the answer. So how come? I'm a Muslim. <laughs> Third one, what do you say about Muhammad? Habibi Rasulullah, Nabi wa Nabi al-Islam. Now, the hadith says, the disbeliever will say what? Man rabbuk, ha, ha, this is the exact narration of the hadith. He will be replying, ha, ha, the sound ha in Arabic means he has no answer. Ha, what do you say? What? What are you talking about? Ha, you know what? He will be confused now. No answer. No answer means may God be with him. He's lost because he ignored, he neglected, he rejected, he disbelieved. So this is why I'm called strange. So we know that question. We know the answer. So this is from the hadith. With the few minutes that we have, let's go just very quickly. Has Allah warned us about this test? We have tens of evidences. Uh, just a reminder, I told you, I'm just, it's just a reminder. Let's go through some quick verses. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Alam a'had ilaykum ya bani adama alla ta'abudu shaytana innahu lakum adubu mubin. Have I not commanded you, all the children of Adam, not to worship the Satan and just to worship me? How many verses in the Quran we have with this concept? Am I exaggerating if I said hundreds? <laughs> Not tens, hundreds with these concepts. Have we been reminded? Yes, definitely. We. Do we know? Yes. Have we listened? Yes. Has the argument been established in our faces? Definitely, especially the Arabs. That's why, please do your best to convey the message to your fellow Arabs from the non-Muslims, because they understand. They realize much more than others could be excused because the one who was not, he did not receive the message. But an Arab, how come? That's why in Hadith Sahih, 
قال والذي نفس محمد بيده ما يسمع بي يهودي ولا نصراني من هذه الأمة ولم يؤمن بي إلا حرم الله عليه الجنة by the one whom my soul is in his hand okay neither a Jew or a Christian if he heard about me and he rejected me but Allah will not allow him to go to the paradise so please let them know that because they understand give them a reminder out of sympathy out of love because they understand this speech everyone is listening to this everyone knows everyone has you know, when we go to the medievals, about five, six, eight, nine hundred years ago in Europe, it was prohibited for Christians to read from their book in the Catholic Church. It was prohibited by the religious law. That's why when Martin Luther, in Protestantism, when he came, he was rejecting the Pope and the Vatican's teachings with prohibiting Christians from reading there, it was prohibited just for the clergy, which means just for the priest at the church, they read it either in Latin or in the Greek. The lay Christians, they were prohibited from reading their book. That's why Martin Luther, he rejected, he protested against the church and he insisted to translate it to the local languages. So for us Arabs who live with us, they understand. No one can say that I did not hear or I can't read. <laughs> because it's accessible wherever you go. You can go wherever to read this. Alam a'had ilaykum. Have I not gave you the covenant? Don't you remember? In another, in another a group of verses in Surah Yasin. وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمُ اتَّقُوا مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَمَا خَلْفَكُمْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تُرْحَمُونَ وَمَا تَأْتِيهِمْ مِنْ آيَةٍ مِنْ آيَاتِ رَبِّهِمْ إِلَّا كَانُوا عَنْهَا مُعْرِضِينَ When they are reminded, okay, be aware, be afraid of your Lord. مَا بَيْنَ أَيْدِيكُمْ Be afraid of what will come in the future, the hereafter. وَمَا خَلْفَكُمْ They are reminded, reminded by the verses and by the Muslims who are reminding them. Have not you witnessed what happened to those before you from previous nations, the perished nations, and what will come to you whenever you tell those people, If they were told to spend from what Allah gave them, which means submit yourself to your Lord, pay the zakah, worship the one who created you and gave you. What was their reply? Those who rejected Allah, those who were arrogant with Allah, do you want us to feed someone whom if our Lord decided to feed him, he could have fed him? Why? Why should I? They are making fun of the teachings. Definitely Allah can feed them. It is the test. Why we are in the test? That's why it is we are. We are in the test. Allah definitely. We are in the test. They used to make fun. You know, out making fun, we say, hey, you know this promise that you are promising us, this kind of punishment. When it will come? You know, you know when, when, when you come trying to scare me, to tell me, I will call the police for you. I say, okay, okay. Really? Wow, well, I'm very scared. Okay, call them. Yeah, call them. This is what? An act of? I'm making fun of everything. I don't care. Okay? I'm challenging you. Hey, you prophets, messengers, okay. When this punishment will come, ha 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 ha. This is the attitude of They are waiting just for one blast, one scream, a divine one created by Allah. All they will lose their Lives. When you go through another one, Nufikha fi suri fa qalu ya wa ilana man ba'athana in kan fal yawma la tuzlamu nafsun shay'a. Today, at the day of judgment, no one will face any kind of injustice. Wala tuzzawna illa ma kuntum ta'amaloon. You will be rewarded nothing but what you have done and committed by your own. Now, we have not tens, hundreds of verses messages what is the core message the core message respected brothers and sisters i'm reminding myself before you the ultimate truth death in our faith is the gates where we will start the eternal life <laughs> the first step of death 
will tell you exactly what is your final destination. <laughs> Once the soul has left, and I'm a dead person in the human calculations, I will be facing the angel of death. The question, man rabbuk, ma dinuk, what do you say in this man, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? No one will ask me about the mortgage. How beautiful my house was, how fancy and beautiful color my Ferrari or Lamborghini was, or the angel of death will not ask me about how beautiful my girlfriend was. No, 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 no. Nothing will ask man rabbuk, madinuk. So all of this, you know, silly stuff completely will be vanished and have no weight at all. So let's prepare ourselves to this destiny. إن الحمد لله نحمده سبحانه ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله quickly another two verses just quick reminder just to make it a little bit more intense ونادى أصحاب الجنة أصحاب النار أن قد وجدنا ما وعدنا ربنا حقا فهل وجدتم ما وعد ربكم حقا؟ you know because we used to have a debate. please be aware of your Lord. go you and your Lord. روح أنت وربك. آه. تحس عليهم فيكم. you are backwards believers. we believe in science. okay. let science save you at that time. let Darwinism save you. let atheism save you. When you stand before your Lord, okay? I believe in science, okay? Can <laughs> Stephen Hawking come on to, to protect you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I believe in physics, okay? Physics is part of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Go to the source, to the one who created these laws. Anyway, we have found what Allah has promised that true. Have you found it true? Yes. قال فأذن مؤذن بينهم اللعنة الله على الظالمين. A caller will be announcing for both of them the curse and the condemnation of Allah on the cursed people. خلاص it's an eternal. So ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to help us to be from those who listen and they reflect upon يعتبرون يتفكرون so that إن شاء الله to be priest with the best way اللهم اغفر لنا وارحمنا وعافنا وعفو عنا اللهم اهدنا واهد منا يا رب العالمين اللهم اجعلنا هداة مهديين لا ضالين ولا مضلين يا رب العالمين اللهم ارحمنا فوق الأرض وتحت الأرض ويوم العرض عليك يا كريم يا رحيم يا حنان يا منان اللهم ارحمنا وارحم والدينا ووالد والدينا وأصحاب الحقوق والواجبات علينا يا رب العالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد الحمد لله رب العالمين وأقم الصلاة